Welcome back to FeedHive. In this video, we'll explore post conditions. The post conditions feature is a way to create advanced conditional posting behavior with a few clicks. It's perfectly suited for plugging your ebooks, course, or products on your most well performing posts, announcing flash sales and creating suspense with time limits and automatic reminders, creating excitement and a more human-like posting behavior on your scheduled posts. This works by scheduling a comment or a subtweet, which will only publish if the main post meets certain conditions. Let's take a look at how this works. Let's create a post. If this post gets a lot of traction, we want to publish a comment with a link to a lead magnet. We add the condition by clicking the small menu button on the comment. Now, we can choose from different types of conditions. For instance, we can publish this comment with a delay in minutes. This will publish the comment 15 minutes after the main post has been published. We can also choose to publish this comment after a certain number of likes on the main post has been reached. This comment will publish when the main post has reached 75 likes. In the same way, we can pick a number of comments instead of likes, or we can pick impressions, which will publish the comment after the main post has received a given number of impressions. A popular choice among marketers is using engagement rate. Here, we specify an engagement rate after a given delay. So, for instance, if the main post holds an engagement rate of at least 3.5% after a delay of 45 minutes, this comment will be published. The engagement rate is the number of the total engagements divided by the number of total impressions on a post. Finally, we can choose the option called Above Average. There's no configuration needed for this option. FeedHive will use AI to compare the performance of your post against the performance of your previous posts and decide if it's above average. This is a perfect way to simply let FeedHive decide without having to scratch your head over which metric and threshold to use. Because Twitter has the concept of threads, post conditions work a little differently with Twitter. Let's take a look. First of all, you will notice how we have an extra option, retweets. It works in the same way as comments and likes, but counting retweets instead. If we add a condition to a single subtweet, it will work in the same way as a comment on, for instance, Facebook or Instagram. But with Twitter, we can add multiple subtweets, so-called threads. And FeedHive allows us to add a condition to each of them individually. A great example is making a time-limited offer and adding reminders to the thread as the last call closes in. Of course, FeedHive will always respect the order of the subtweets in the way they have been created. So, if you put a condition on subtweet number one and another one on subtweet number two, subtweet number one needs to meet the condition before the condition on subtweet number two will ever be considered. That's worth keeping in mind when you plan out your conditions. There we go. You now have all the skills needed to add advanced conditional posting behavior to your posts.